Surf's up guys, it's Maui Snake here, and I actually went surfing today, so that's not just something I use as a slogan to open up my videos, it's a precise calm I give out IRL. We're gonna get into the Blast World Finals, the playoffs, and how things are shaping up in this tournament. I think we've already seen a couple of wonky situations come about. G2 made it through, OG made it through, and Outsiders and Heroic both didn't make it through. But the pass is the pass, and all we can use now is that referential data to move us forward to try to make good predictions. This is a video, once again, that is using PickStop, which is in its beta. Be sure to sign up for this. Join my league if you want the Maui Snake League. We got a good amount of signups there, but we can get higher. We, I'm actually doing okay. 20th out of 90th, not bad. Here we go. So for the first quarterfinals matchup, we're going to have G2 versus Vitality. And this is a game before this event started. I thought Vitality would have for sure won. I thought they were going to ramp up into this event. I thought they were going to show us what they had in store after a long break after the Rio Major and actually come to the table with something new, something fresh. But I'm starting to see the same mistakes that made me question Vitality's legitimacy to begin with. If I think about even the maps for this, G2, if they take this to Inferno, I think that they're gonna take down Apex and Sphinx towards Banana repeatedly. Think about that matchup, Apex and Sphinx versus Nico. <laughs> Case closed, that's a map for G2. And Vitality, they wanted to pick Mirage. They picked that against OG, and they had a tough time dealing with them, whereas G2 absolutely destroyed Outsiders on their CT side of Mirage. So I think it's Vitality that have to actually consider themselves the underdogs in this matchup, because as it stands, I don't know which maps that Vitality think they're comfortable on versus a team like G2. So this is where you might see that Anubis pick come out. This is where you might see something kind of crazy unfold here for Vitality. And I think G2 is going to win this series, but I do think that Vitality is going to have a good plan going into this game. I want to give them a map in this one, but I definitely am going to give G2 the overall victory. But the other quarterfinals matchup, we've got Navi versus Liquid. And this is very tight too. Going into this tournament, I thought Navi were going to be better. But the NPL project is not working. Bring on Head Trick. Bring on Head Trick. I want to see that guy play because he was lighting it up in the Academy League. He was easily their next best player after Monacy. And yet they chose NPL and I just don't get it yet. And he plays Inferno. And so that should just be a free map for Liquid. Even though Navi were able to take down Heroic with NPL, it was kind of despite NPL and it was more because Bit just went god mode. And I also think that Navi has become a slightly more favorable matchup for Liquid now that they have Yakindar, who knows how this team likes to play. And what what Yakindar used to play against when he was playing against Navi all the time in those sort of CIS events, especially in the online era, was a better version of the Navi that we're seeing now. Like this Navi is depleted. The system isn't really working for them. Electron, I just need Electronic to probably get off the IGL role. Blade says that they want to keep using Electronic as in that position as as the leader they want to make sure that can keep happening then they just need a better player you just need a better player because i don't think uh sdy sdy is one of the worst rated performers at this event so far and then npl is doing pretty terribly too so it doesn't matter who you pick as the fifth right now for navi you could probably throw blade in and he's not even going to be much worse and i think that liquid are going to actually take this series and i think they're going to take it convincingly to zero liquid could go for anubis actually i think they could go for mirage i think they could win inferno i think there's a lot of maps that are available for liquid in this pool and navi I think Navi would probably want to play something uh, like Nuke, but Liquid don't even play that. So good luck, right? <laughs> Phase G2 is going to be fireworks. This is a semifinal that I, I think is probably worthy of being the grand final. As it stands for G2, they have a chance to win this. I do not think that this is an easy win for FaZe by any means. I think this G2 team is looking as good as what we wanted to see from them after we were teased with what the potential of this team could be after their ESL Pro League group stage run. Yes, it was just the group stage, but they were able to take down teams so convincingly there that we saw what... G2 believed in, they're finding that footing again. The individuals are popping off. Hooksy's calling pretty well. And I know people might be not sold on Hooksy, but look back at that G2 game versus Outsiders. They won eight T side rounds. And yes, multiple rounds came down to Monacy bailing them out or even Hunter doing well, JKS. But if you look at the calling, especially for the first handful of rounds, that was I, that was mostly just because Hooksy was making good reads. He was avoiding stacks from Outsiders. And that kind of calling, it, you need to set up your stars to succeed. Let them go and let them win the round for you once you put them in position. That Hooksy actually did a decent job putting those players in position with some of the mid-round calls that he was making in this game and some of the conditioning that he showed. I will be giving this to FaZe. 
I will, despite all the selling points I have for G2, I think that phase is a step ahead on a couple maps again. I think that they've renewed themselves. Uh, watching them play Anubis versus Liquid, for example, shows that they have that in their back pocket all of a sudden, where they could they could bust that out. I don't think they're going to pick it versus G2, but I think if it goes map three Anubis, that CT side was just, wow, that was that was excellent stuff from FaZe. They had so many different ideas. They had so many ways to push, so many ways to get information. And I think that FaZe are going to win this 2-1 it would not surprise me if map three goes overtime, though. I think this is going to be incredibly close. I think I want this to be the best series. This is the one that I think everybody should be tuning in for, and they're going to push phase to their limits. And OG Liquid, I'm just I'm just still not sold on OG. It was very confusing when I heard Rugga talk to Thorin about the way Nexa likes to call, saying that it gives players a lot of freedom because you look at the majority of rounds that they won versus Vitality when they were playing the T side of Inferno, and they were mostly just grouped up and doing big hits. I think a lot of teams before Liquid were kind of swept away by what OG just did. They didn't know what was coming, and I bet a lot of teams when they face OG were just kind of thinking, play our own game, but I actually think that teams now are going to give respect to OG enough so that they'll prepare, prepare for them. I think Liquid are going to be on top of flanking OG because m the majority of OG's T-side round victories were just simply grouping up, and I've doubted T-Slides like that before, to be fair. I, I doubted how Maus was calling, but then they started expanding their playbook after I doubted them, so teams never could really catch up. But I don't think OG are going to develop themselves. I don't think they're going to evolve from what we just saw in the groups to the playoffs. And so I think that Liquid are going to win this one 2-0, uh, actually. I think it's going to be 2-0. I think OG probably just, just kind of caught a lot of people off guard with just how sharp they were. Grand Final, FaZe versus Liquid. We're going to get a rematch of this. And... Uh, I think that FaZe are going to win this. Doesn't make me happy to say that, but I think that Liquid are going to put up yet another good fight against FaZe. I think it's going to go, I think it's going to go 2-1. I think it's going to be a 2-1 FaZe victory, but I actually think that the maps that Liquid are going to win will be different this time. Like, I'll just say, if you run this back, if you run that series back, I think Liquid have a chance to win Anubis. They might be the best Anubis team at the event right now. And obviously we saw how FaZe was able to beat them, but it was off of the back of a very good CT side, which now Liquid have live experience against. And I always give a little bit of a boost to teams in a rematch when they lost the prior map. They're going to learn more from that than FaZe is going to learn themselves. I just think overall FaZe are the better team. Uh, it's tough to imagine uh, a world where... OC and Nitro aren't just kind of average players in the series and being an average player, an average pro that is versus a team that's full of renewed structure, ideas, and willpower in phase. I mean, that's a recipe for disaster for Liquid and you, you would really need to see something truly special emerging out of such an unlikely hero. And I, I think there's just way more reasons that phase could win this series. In a weird way, actually, when I look at some of these, this might be one of the more lopsided series if you look at the betting odds. Like, I think I think Phase G2, for example, is going to be closer betting odds than Phase Liquid. And I think that this is a tournament that when they make this kind of run, they're going to prove once again that they're in that upper echelon of teams, ones that I would consider up in that elite status. But when it comes to true contenders, true champion caliber teams, Phase is the one. So that's going to be my pickums, guys. Thanks for stopping by once again. Be sure to check out Pickstop. And as always, being toxic is a choice.